Hmm. So the 2017 got a top safety pick award, but the 2018 didn't? I guess the 2017 was better? And this new car gets a good score in the side impact test, but this 2018 also gets a good score? I guess they're pretty much the same? What does updated mean? Today we're gonna to help you understand what goes into crash safety testing and how to interpret what those ratings could mean to you when you're shopping for a used car. Hey everybody, I'm Dave Scheller from Edmonds where we're known as the car testing pros. We've teamed up with CarMax to help you find the right vehicle for your needs. There are two organizations that crash test cars in the United States. The first is the federal agency called the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, or NHTSA, which performed its first crash test in 1979. Every car built in the U.S. has to meet NHTSA requirements for crash protection. The Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, or IIHS, is a nonprofit organization funded by insurance providers. It began its own crash testing program in 1995 and has been pretty quick to react to changes in the automotive landscape. In fact, every single year since 2012, they've changed something about their testing or their top safety pick awards. That's why for this video, we're gonna focus on the IIHS test, since it can be more complicated to compare results year over year. Before we talk about the test, we need to make sure we're speaking the same language. Instead of rating out of five stars, the IIHS calls test results good, acceptable, marginal, and poor. Good is the best. To determine what overall score a vehicle gets, crash tests look at how the passenger compartment holds up to damage. They also look at potential occupant injuries due to crash forces, excessive movement, and contact with surfaces in the vehicle. Combining all of these results, the IIHS arrives at an overall score. In 2012, the IIHS had four tests in place, moderate overlap front, side, roof strength, and head restraint. When the IIHS started using its new moderate overlap front test in the 90s to complement NHTSA's full front crash test, plenty of cars were getting poor ratings. The results could be dramatic. These days, stronger crash structures do a much better job protecting the driver. But as more cars earn good ratings on the moderate overlap test, the IIHS wanted to test an even more offset collision, simulating a collision on part of the vehicle less protected by front crush zones. It introduced the driver's side small overlap front test in 2012, and not every car was ready. In terms of protecting the driver, there could be a big difference between a good result and a poor result. By 2017, most cars were getting good ratings in the driver's side small overlap test. So the IIHS switched it up and introduced the passenger side small overlap test because they noticed that both sides of the car weren't equally protected. This test can especially be helpful if you often carry your passenger in the front seat since it's currently the only test that uses a dummy in that position. All of these changes were gradually integrated into the criteria for the IIHS Top Safety Pick and Top Safety Pick Plus awards in the years following their introduction. To learn how those awards change year over year, check out our full article. In 2021, the IIHS updated their side impact test. The barrier they'd been using since 2003 was taller than the one used in government crash tests to better replicate SUVs and small trucks, which were already getting popular in 2003. But SUVs and trucks have gotten even bigger and heavier in the last two decades. So in 2021, they introduced a new barrier that is, you guessed it, taller and heavier than the old one. They also increased the collision speed resulting in an impact with 80% more energy than the old test. And smaller dummies were added to the rear seats to simulate children or small adults who are often rear passengers. Adding those smaller dummies to the rear seats provided valuable information. So in 2022, the IIHS added dummies to the rear seat for the updated front moderate overlap test. These updates are especially important for people who frequently carry rear passengers like parents. But what if you're not a parent? If a car does a good job protecting the driver, 
but an acceptable, marginal, or poor job of protecting rear passengers, its overall score for the test gets knocked down. That means if rear passengers don't feature in your lifestyle, you'll need to check the complete results rather than the overall score to see whether a car still has the protection you want as a driver. So you know there are new tests being introduced, and let's say you really want to know how well a car you're interested in may protect smaller rear passengers from side impacts. That means that you have to look for a car from 2022 or later to make sure it was tested with smaller dummies in the side and front test, right? Not quite. Every time the IIHS performs a new test on a car, they can apply the results backwards up to the last time that car was redesigned, as long as there haven't been any changes that impact its crashworthiness. Cars change over time, receiving minor updates almost every year, and more major redesigns about every five to eight years. Those major redesigns launch a new generation of a vehicle. Along with new styling, technology, and sometimes engine choices, these new generations can introduce a new body and crash structure. Generally speaking, crash tests can apply to a whole generation of a vehicle. That means that the crash tests of the most recent model year can also apply to older model years, as long as they're all part of the same generation of vehicle and no important changes were made. For example, the Mazda CX-5 received a good score on the updated side impact test for the 2022 model year, and that score applies back to the 2017 model year, when the current generation was introduced. On the other hand, the Nissan Pathfinder also scored good, but the generation that was tested launched for the 2022 model year. So all previous model years only have results from the original side impact test. In comparison, that means there are five extra model years of CX-5 that you can shop if it's important to you to know how they performed on the updated test. But there's the important caveat. Results don't always apply to earlier model years. Sometimes manufacturers will update a vehicle for a new crash test without introducing a new generation or even changing the vehicle's looks. That means that even if it doesn't look totally different, there can be a good reason to check a newer model year for full test results. Let's look at Nissan again. The 2018 Nissan Rogue and the passenger side small frontal overlap test. The 2018 Rogue looks exactly like the 2017 Rogue, but all Rogues built after April 2018 had a reinforced passenger side. The 2018 Rogue has a good score for the passenger side small front overlap test, but the results don't apply to any previous model years, even though they might look the same. When a manufacturer makes a change like this, the IIHS will note when the change was implemented in the full test results. And here's something else to think about. The 2017 Rogue received the IIHS's highest top safety pick plus award, while the 2018 Rogue with those updates only received a top safety pick award. So what else is going on? Well, crash testing is only part of the equation, especially when it comes to handing out those top safety pick and Top Safety Pick Plus awards. In 2013, the IIHS added front crash prevention technology to its testing, looking at how driver aids like forward collision warning and automatic emergency braking work. Vehicles were scored on whether they succeeded in warning the driver of a collision with enough time to react, and how much they slowed down before striking the target. To get the most points, they'd need to slow nearly to a stop. Then in 2019, they added pedestrian detection, testing how effective these systems are at identifying pedestrians and braking before a collision, with separate tests for daytime and nighttime. Like other changes, these tests were integrated into IIHS awards over the next few years, but up through 2022, these systems weren't required to be standard equipment in order to earn the award. For used car shoppers looking at older vehicles, it's useful to understand how different systems performed in tests, especially when talking about safety. <sighs> Anything else? Yes. The IIHS also rates latch points, headlights, and even seatbelt reminders. In 2015, the IIHS started latch evaluation where they examined the anchors for attaching infant and child car seats. Those scores are designed to 
to let you know how easy it should be to correctly attach a car seat based on things like the placement and accessibility of the anchor points. And if you're a new parent, that can save you some stress. If you've ever thought, headlights seem brighter these days, you're right. In 2016, the IIHS started testing how much light low and high beam headlights provide in a straight line and around turns, adding points for range and deducting points for glare. Those brighter lights and their improved visibility result in fewer nighttime single vehicle crashes and can especially be helpful if you live where there aren't a lot of street lights. Initially, in order to get a top award, a vehicle just needed acceptable or good headlights available as an option. Now, they have to be standard on every trim level. And lastly, in 2022, they added a seatbelt reminder test that looks at how quickly, how often, how loudly, and how long the car alerts the driver to an unbuckled seatbelt. If you're ever forgetful, this reminder can be a critical feature. Now, the IIHS hasn't just added tests. Over time, they've discontinued tests when the majority of new cars started earning good ratings. Several tests were discontinued in 2022 because most cars were getting the same good score. So you may not need to worry if you can't find these results on newer cars. As new tests are introduced, you can get more information about the crash performance and features of a given vehicle. Just because a vehicle didn't undergo a certain test doesn't necessarily mean that it won't do well in a crash. And depending on where you live, how you drive, and what you need a car for, certain ratings may be more important when deciding which car is right for you. But understanding what you're looking for and why is definitely the first step towards an easier car shopping journey. Remember, vehicles keep getting bigger, heavier, faster, and more packed with technology. So these tests will continue to change. Keep your eyes peeled for more updates from the IIHS and NHTSA. Let us know in the comments if there are any other topics that you want us to cover now that we've talked crash safety.